Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a young lady sent me this, and I did this last night, a video on how to do it, but I guess I wasn't really paying attention to what she was wanting. She wanted to, she called it extruded, which is pretty neat terminology, so I made this one, and it does look like it's kind of standing off where mine is just blah, blank, and this one is like this, so I wish I could find this font because it's pretty cool the way that happens. But there are several ways to do this, and the easiest way would be to, uh, really what I did last night in the other video, go to effects, contour, contour to the outside, let's go 0.25 to the outside, because we're going to get a bigger contour, go up to a range, break to contour apart, I like moving things out of the way, and then contour it to the inside, point, point one to the inside, and you get a smaller contour. Then go to a range and break that contour apart, and then grab the smaller contour and put it inside the other one. And here's the trick. Well, I'm not really calling it a trick. I'm going to change my nudge distance to 0 0.05. And I'm going to just nudge it down and over. And then I'm going to take my Smart Fill tool and fill it in. And you could actually nudge it down a little bit more. Let's just do it. Let's change our nudge factor to 0 0.07. So I'm going to go down and then to the right. Just fill it in with the Smart Fill tool. And it gives it the appearance. And then I'm going to left click No Outline. Gives it the appearance of kind of a, like, the, like it's extruded. That's a pretty good terminology. You could also do it with the uh, Block Shadow tool, but a lot of people don't have it. It's in newer versions of Corel. And I like it, but you could do a block shadow and really kind of play around with it. But I'll, maybe I'll make another video about that. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.